Okay, we will now get our new shape into Photoshop. We will simply copy and paste that. And so we edit copy, we go over to Photoshop, open up a new file, and uh, 1280 is good. Uh, you want artboards off, and let's see, you want RGB, select it. And we're using transparency. You know, typically we would use half white when we started a new file, but we're going to go with transparent here. And this is good. So create. We're going to go ahead and paste our bottle in. We want to have shape layer selected. And it's there. It's hard to see, but it's there. And so what we will do from here is we will make sure that our 3D menu, our 3D workspace is selected. And we'll go to 3D extrusion, hit create. All right, this creates our, uh, uh, or puts us in the 3D environment. And from here, we will uh, go to, um, let's see, it is the shape preset here. And we'll select this, which is called Blend X360. All right, so we have now uh, created the 3D shape. And over here in this window, click inside and drag this so that you see this circle. We want to remove this circle and any little artifacts that show. And so you come over to the extrusion depth and you slide this guy. Not too much. Oops. So we're just trying to get rid of it. And we can see it's gone there. So let's slide it back because this is at 17 and somewhere around negative nine let's see let's type this in let's type in negative uh, 10 there and we see everything is gone so that's good all right and then from here you want to select a uh, scene and go up to your properties here and click remove uh, hidden back faces all right then we want to select all of the shapes here under this shape layer Okay, and select just the shapes. And then up here under materials, base color, over here, the little icon to the right of base color, click on that and remove texture. Because you don't want any textures on it when you bring it into um, Adobe Dimension. And then we just come over and we select layer. We make sure that our shape is selected. And we go to 3D and we go export 3D layer. And you want to select from here 3D, uh, um, here it is, Wave Object, Wave OBJ, OBJ stands for Object, and click, oh, click OK. All right, and then we just give it a name, and we'll call it New Bottle Shape. OK, and then we save that. All right, and then we can go into Adobe Dimension. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Right there. that open up, create a new file. And we'll find our bottle on our computer and we're just going to take it and drag it in here. And then you hit, um, I believe, F on the keyboard to bring that into view. And there you have it. From there, you can um, uh, you want to add, of course, the texture to it, and we'll just add glass here. And that's um, basically how you do it. Uh, one more thing you want to do with your uh, glass object is go to object and um, generate UVs. And then save that. That'll help when you bring your, your label in.